These are the books we're reading. They love these books. There's nothing left for me. It's like, hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a fun one. I normally don't theme reading vlogs because I'm such a mood reader and I just like can't do it sometimes. But today we have a themed reading vlog. We have three books to read. And they kind of match. It's kind of fun. It's kind of a fun little color scheme. I wanted to do a video about reading five star reads or like like favorite books of my favorite booktubers. So we're picking three. First we have Miss Sarah Caroli and we have Destiny Sidwell. Then we have Haley Pham. Um, I've loved them for so long and so I'm so excited. And like because I've loved them so for so long, there is a little overlap in our reading taste and our like the books that I have read, I've read because of them. To pick out these books, I picked them out based on their rating on Goodreads. And I know that Haley loved this series. I'm finishing off um, the first trilogy out of the Red Rising series, which is Morning Star. I actually liked, I liked Red Rising and then I really liked um, Golden Sun a lot. I think that one was way better and I loved like the story and I loved the twist and turns and stuff like that. So I feel like it was it was like easier to understand once you're in this world and you just like kind of take it for what it is now. So I'm excited to get to Morningstar. It's 518 pages. That doesn't sound like a lot. Like I'm not intimidated by that. So that's Haley's pick. Destiny's pick is not a five star read, but it's the beginning of a five star series. I haven't read a Sarah J. Mass book. Feels like for me specifically, the Throne of Glass series would be up more my alley. I don't think I'm ever gonna read Akatar. Don't know if I ever want to, but yeah. So to Destiny's reading order, cause she loves the series so much. I'm gonna read Assassin's Blade first. She actually rated this one three stars. I don't know if it's like changed or not, but on Goodreads it's three stars. I'm excited cause Sarah really liked this and it's like the beginning of the story. And I don't feel like it's gonna be very, a lot of world building because it is supposed to be read the third, I think like the third book in the series because it's a bunch of novellas like stitched together basically I think. And then for Sarah's five star read, we're reading. I've been putting this off so much because I'm so terrified. I read the first Magnolia Parks and the first Daisy Hates back in May and they wrecked me and I was I couldn't move on and I knew that Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home was gonna absolutely destroy me. So I didn't read that. I read that recently. It's gonna be in my, yeah, it's gonna be in my October wrap up. And ever since then, I've been on a, a little, a little Magnolia, little rut. So <laughs> I'm very excited because I love Christian Daisy. I don't know how many times I have to say this, but I love Christian Daisy and I love Julian. So I think the angst of the Magnolia Park's books really get to me and that's why I love him so much but I love Christian Daisy because I just love Daisy so these are the books we're reading they love these books I've read the series so I know I'll like these I don't know about this I'm very scared so because oops I think I'm gonna start with Morningstar and I know I'm leaving this to the end because I just I'm not ready so I know like because my work week is gonna be heavy I'm gonna read the first two books so I can just like read in between when I have stuff to do. But this one would be like a weekend book where I binge. So, but I am gonna start Morningstar. I'm just, I'm so excited for this video. I love it. So, so I'll see you guys when I see you next. I think I'm gonna go shower so I can get cozy in bed. Hello, everybody. It's Monday, you don't care. I'm 100 pages into Morningstar. I feel like the found family elevated. It's like at an all time high right now. So I love that about this. I feel like now that I'm really invested in the series, I feel like Golden Sun really made me invested. So I'm about to head to class. I'm about to order a coffee. I'm gonna order a sugar cookie latte. I hope it's really good. Do a meeting with my advisor and then I have to film my wrap up and then I have to do work and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm hoping to get to like halfway today. I think I'm only like, I think I'm 18% done right now. I'll see you guys back with my next update. I'm back. I've actually read a bunch today. I started at 95 and then I read um, to like 112 in between one of my classes. And then since that, I've read up to 308. So I've read, I'm not gonna attempt that math. I'm gonna just say roughly 200 pages. And 
<laughs> I don't know if I've cried. Actually, I have. I cried in the first one. Pierce Brown is messed up from something that happened. Like, he could have just not done it. Or he could have killed this person earlier. <sighs> he really had to do them like that. So, yeah. It's just so good. I think the politics are way easier to understand now. One thing I do like about Pierce Brown's writing, he's really descriptive in um, his like scene, his like fighting scenes, but I feel like he breaks them up. Heavy fight scene, but it's not a fight scene. It's more like a political scene. And then he'll break it up with um, much needed dialogue. And I feel like the dialogue is where it really shines. And I feel like you could skim past like the the non-dialogue parts and then get to the dialogue parts and then really understand it so i feel like that's why it's really easy to read i say that this is not an easy series to read i feel like it takes a lot more brain power for me especially i'm just so used to like cute little fluffy little like fantasy romances with enemies the lovers no this is intense stuff i think it's looking up to be my favorite so far normally with the other books in the series it like takes me to the 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 middle end where I really like it, but I've liked everything up till the point where I'm at. So I think that's a good sign. This is looking up to be 4.75 or a five. If I really put my mind to it, I could finish it tomorrow. I'll see you guys in my next update. Okay, it's 8.30. I just finished Morningstar. I'm in between rankings. I don't think it's a five stars, but I put it as a five star on Goodreads. I'm really leaning to 4.75. It just didn't give me the five star feeling that like other five star books have. But I think this is the strongest book out of the Red Rising series. And I did read the synopsis for the next, like the next books in the series. And it happens time after this happened, but I don't know. Because, like, from the events of Red Rising and this happening, it's been six years. So that's crazy. I also, when I was complaining about the other clip, I read more. Something bad happened. Like, something bad happened that I just can't believe Pierce Brown would do that to me after what he already did to me. I was so, like, caught off guard that I was like, this is definitely, like, a ploy or plan that, like, feeds into the bigger picture. But now I've gotten past that delusion and I think that what actually happened actually happened. And I was really heartbroken by that. Um, Pierce Brown, you're so good. You're, you're messed up for one plot point, but you've, you've redeemed yourself. I think it just in all his books, some parts are slow for me. Like I just don't care about some parts, but then it sometimes it like redeems itself in the dialogue after the, after the fact. But yeah, I think this had like the most banter between the characters. Um, yeah. Whenever I say banter between characters, it's not like romance banter, like romance book banter. It's, I don't know, it's just like teen boy banter. The next book I'm going to be reading is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. I think this one, it's 430-ish pages. Let's read the back. I've actually never heard of the, the main character in, in the Throne of Glass series. I don't know if this is the main character everyone knows. I gotta look how to say her name. Oh my god, this book is $19. Did I pay $19 for this? Selena? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's a, that's a cute little name. I hate when in fantasy books, it's like elaborate names and elaborate like places. And then there's just like a random character. Like in this one, on the back, it literally just says Selena. And then Selena is like a weird spelling. And then it has Sam. Girl, who's Sam? I think I am going to start reading this because it is only $8.35. All I know is that we're done with one book. For this book for this video and it was really good 4.75 stars hi guys it's been a couple days and i am finally just getting into the assassin's blade i don't know why it took me so long i just didn't read for like i gotta kid you not i was on page eight for like two days i think like i started it one night read t eight pages didn't read the next day and then i read i think Yesterday is the first day that I actually started reading this. I went from page 8 to page 160. Um, I'm going to the library and then I'm going to go do some work. I have to do work first and then I have to, then I can do the fun reading. I have to do a bunch of notes and I have to do a bunch of like, writing for my paper. 
So far, I kind of like, I like it. It's not like crazy. Um, I I don't know how old Sarah J. Mass was when she was writing this, but this was published in 2014. Um, and I can tell. <laughs> I can tell that she was young. It's just the way that she writes. I don't know if it's like for every other book because I haven't read any other Sarah J. Mass books. It's very not anything crazy. It's not anything crazy and she just literally just puts the words on the paper. You know what I mean? But I like Selena. I think she's really cool. She reminds me of literally every assassin. Right now I'm on the the novella, The Assassin in the Desert. This one's really long. I think this one ends at page 227. I'm gonna go to the library, study, do all that. And then I'll be back and I hopefully will finish the book tomorrow. I'm back home for the weekend, but um, it's Saturday. So I was like at 50% of the book and I actually finished it while I was out. So I'm giving this one four stars. Um, I like Selena. Um, I kind of knew what was happening because I've seen like other people be like, oh, you have to get emotionally connected. And Haley Pham posted her review. She was like, I sobbed. I think Sarah said she cried. So I was like, okay. I guess something sad happened, so I just like, kind of guessed it would happen. I was in a public setting when I was reading it, so I didn't have, I wasn't like crying, but it, like I would, if I was alone, I like teared up. So I don't know if I would have cried, would have cried, but yeah. Um, Assassin's Blade, I'm glad I read it first because it's like a nice backstory because I kind of like understand Selena. So like, um, if I went to like straight into Throne of Glass and read the second book and then read this one third, I feel like I would have been like, Okay, like I, I, at that point I would be like, I would have been like, oh, let's just get into the story. Like I don't want to, that, cause that's one thing I hated about the Shatter Me series. Like the novellas in between the things were so boring. I was just like, give me the story. Like I just want to finish the actual story and not read these novellas. So this was nice. I think my favorite novella in it was The Assassin in the Desert. That one was, that one was good. I remember that one was, I think that was my favorite. Um, I don't think I'm gonna start Daisy Hates in the Great Undoing. I think I'm gonna start this tomorrow because right now, because I was out in doing so, I started reading a book on my phone, like on the Kindle app, and I was I'm reading King of Greed. This is the third book in like the Kings of Sin series by Anna Huang. Oh, since I went back home, um, I sent this to my my parents' house instead of my apartment. <gasps> this is Jess Snack Co. on Etsy. So excited. Um, it says House of the Weather Parks and it has a little, a little, like, um, weather, what are they called, emojis, emoticons, I don't know. But then on the sleeve right here, there's a B and it says warm enough. Ah. Uh, so far, so good. I, I think this was the, the, the book that I was most iffy about, but I actually do think I'm going to continue on with the series. Which is, I just like Selena, so I hope she turns out good and I continue to like her. I just, oh my god, I think about like Kingdom of Ash. That book is 800 pages. I think about the tandem read. Oh, I don't know if I could do the tandem read. But yeah, so far so good. I'll see you guys when I start this book, which is probably tomorrow. That's the washer, but I'm officially ready to start. I have my pen. I've got my headphones ready and I'm gonna listen to um, this Christian and Daisy playlist. I'm not even joking about tapping the first page. Like it's the cover page and then it's the title page. It's literally just the synopsis, basically, and I'm tapping it. I'm about 490 pages into Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. Um, I'm loving it so far. Now, I feel like the last Daisy Hates went after the events of the first Magnolia Park, so like you got to see the aftermath of that. So I hope it happens like here too. I don't wanna just get the same thing because it feels like I'm just getting the same thing, which is what it is, because it's in the same like time. But I love Daisy, like I love Daisy. I love Christian, I love reading Julian's point of view, I just love the characters. I'm gonna read more tonight, but I actually have to do work. I just been putting off the work. I've done one thing. I just have a paper due Thursday. I have to study for a test 
No one cares. You guys don't care, I promise you. I'm like determined to finish Daisy Hates, but after I'm done with Daisy Hates, there's no more. There's nothing left. There's nothing left for me. It's like that Bella, um, Bella, Bella Swan TikTok. There's nothing left for me. That's how I feel. But yeah, I'm almost done. I've cried like not as much as I hope I thought I would. I think it's because it like magnolia park prepared me and like I kind of know what happens. If I didn't know anything that happened, I think I would have cried more. But I feel like Christian, during the first book, he was like, this is, this is like the standard. Okay, this is the standard. He was like here in the middle of the first book. At the end of the first book, he was like kind of up to standard. Like he was kind of good. And then this book, mm, he's up here now. I love Christian. I just can't wait until the next Magnolia Parks book. I can't wait till February. Ugh, I turned 20 in February. I'm not doing well. <laughs> Hi guys, five stars. It's, I just love these characters so much. And I think, I told you that I think like Christian like elevated in the last, um, in this book. Like he just elevated. <laughs> I kind of clocked on Julian, but Julian, he's a, he, he deserved the world. I'm so, like I'm just done with the series. Like I'm just done until February. And then at, who, who knows how long after February it will be until I, Get to see these characters again i love being inside these characters minds because i think they're just so different from each other in the magnolia parks books it's just magnolia and bj and i love both of them but like i think it's like fun to get three different characters i'm gonna miss them i'm gonna really miss them everyone's so sad no one can be happy oh my god i'm so not ready for february here's the wrap up we first read Morning Star by Pierce Brown. That's the one I gave a 4.75 stars. I love Darrow. Um, I feel like there weren't as many like plot twists in this, but Pierce Brown really tugs on your emotions in this one, so be prepared for that. This one was my favorite out of the series so far, so I'm really looking forward to the rest of the series. Then we read The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. I gave this one four stars. Um, this one I was the most like scared for because I don't I didn't know if I was like gonna like it. I'm gonna continue on with the series I actually have. I have the next book right here, so we'll get into it one day. I really like Selena in this, so she really she really elevated the book. I feel like if the main character was annoying, then I wouldn't like it as much. But yeah, I, you actually get like I like her backstory and I like knowing the backstory before I get into the actual the rest of the series. So I think it's fun to read the Assassin's Blade first. Maybe I'll have a different stance when I read the books, but I liked having Assassin's Blade first. Next, lastly, I read Daisy Hates, The Great Undoing. Um, I don't know who I like. I don't know whose books I like better. I just love them all so much. Five stars. So we have a 4.75, a 4, and then a 5. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, I loved reading my favorite booktubers, like favorite books, because I just get all of my recommendations from them. So it's like fun to like read their five star books and books they love so much that I haven't read. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.